Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you for choosing this video. In this video is going to be a small tutorial on how to use Keynote to transfer your projects to iMovie for you to create uh, animated videos for your YouTube channel. Recently, I am working on a small project on how to create this small uh, announcement for subscribe. So if you want to check on how I do it, don't worry. Um, just check with me into an entire video and if you want to use the same method you could definitely do so and so come with me if I can show you really quick how hard to do it <laughs> Okay, so you're going to select Keynote, right? Keynote right here. And they're going to ask you to choose a theme, right? What I like about Keynote is that you have a lot to choose in order for which project you want to do, okay? So you're going to choose whatever you want, right? And you could do... This is a really awesome um, a software in order for you to create projects correct I normally use um, the white one and so and I gonna take this out right I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna create another slice right blank one and then I'm gonna erase this one then I am going to change the color and I'm gonna use green you could use whatever color you want right either blue or green either blue or green okay and so while I'm doing that right I'm gonna be adding what I want to change and that is I'm gonna be going to my downloads right and I am going to find the icon for the the logo for the YouTube channel right and so I'm gonna get a small circle right let me put it a little bit bigger like that and then I am going to put this behind it black right and so I put it all together and so I am going to group this I'm gonna group this um, both of them for it could become one so I'm gonna put group right and then I'm gonna I'm gonna resize it a little bit to make it smaller Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a portion of a whatever YouTube video, whatever channel I could find. I'm going to I'm going to select mine. Um, so I'm going to get a small portion out of this um, channel. Correct. And I'm going to subscribe. I'm going to record this small portion, right? That says subscribe. And so I'm going to I'm going to subscribe. Right. And then. I'm going to select and so that will give me the small portion that I want to in order for me to edit it in and to add an effect on the um, keynote okay so what we are going to do after I record that small part I am going to a um, select the small recording the screen recording and I am going to trim it um, to select the part that I need to, um, that I want to show on my video, correct? So I'm just gonna trim this part right here. And that's it, so I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna save it in my, in my computer, right? As you can see, this is what I want to show. Pretty simple. I'm gonna save it in my computer. Now I'm going to transfer it over to my Keytone, Keynotes. Okay, once it's transferred to Keynotes, I am going to enlarge this little screen and I am going to send it back to the logo of, to the to the YouTube logo and so I'm gonna add a border and that's it 
and then I am going to animate this logo, right? You could use all these effects. Um, this is the start in the start um, effect, okay? So they have start, then they have action, like what it's gonna do in the middle, and then at the end. So this is the effect that is going. This is the effect that they have. They're, they're pretty cool. Okay guys, so now to animate the logo and to record this, correct? And to and for it could show the recording, correct? It's a little process. It's it's gonna it's gonna be a little process, so don't worry. I'm gonna show you step by step on how to do it, okay? So first I want this logo to add an effect of of, of coming into the set or so coming into the or pop out right into the screen right okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go here where it says animate and then i'm going to put built in and then i'm going to put a whoosh right a whoosh is like it's going to come out from and it's going to pop out in my screen right or in your screen and then after i do that then i want to select um i'm going to add it i'm going to also a built a animation to this correct and I wanted to I'm gonna start it right I'm gonna build in and then it's gonna play by himself correct so yeah so we're gonna go here where it says build order right and then it's gonna show the order of what it's going to happen right in in the whole clip in the small clip and so I want the I want the group. Remember that I group this together, so it's gonna be called group. And so I'm gonna group it right, and I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna move it up, right? And so when I move it up, um, this one, the start movie, right? I'm gonna play it after that move. But I want to add another effect to the group before this starts, right? And so I'm gonna add, right? I'm gonna add an action, right? And so that group, I'm gonna add like a, you could add like a blink, or you could add a bouncy, or you could add flip or jiggle. Let me see the flip for you could show it, for you could see it, right? or pop right or pulse right so or let me rotate let's rotate it right let's do that let's take that one or you could choose whatever you want right so okay so once i do that uh you you go here where it says build order right and you are going to move it in between the one and three right so I put it in the middle and so I'm gonna I'm gonna I want this rotation to do it after the when it comes in right so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it as it is like it says after build one right so once that happens then then I'm gonna leave this right I'm gonna leave it like that right I'm gonna leave them leave this like that leave this like this right and so now I want all of these to leave after as soon um, as soon these start playing like after after it 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 finished playing right and so I'm gonna request that group right the group would have a last build out so I'm gonna go here where it says build out right and I'm gonna add an effect like let's say move out right like that right and so I'm gonna leave this after build three let's let's put it like that just in case um, because then we get we have to it's tricky I mean you could leave it like that but it's tricky because I want to add an effect that both of these will leave you know at the same time and it will make it a nice effect right okay so once I do that right I am going to at that this start movie will also move out right okay so I'm gonna 
request that this build that I'm gonna request um, this to have a build out right and so I'm gonna add an effect right and I also wanted to build out but I mean I also want to request a move out but I could also request like this like a wipe right you could also change it to wipe or you could change it to diffuse like that or you could change it to sparkle you see you know you could you could like play it around you know you could play it all around you don't have to like make it so precise you could just play it around that's that's the good thing about it right or you could spin it too you know <laughs> but i'm gonna select the diffuse diffuse so i'm gonna select that one right once i do that right i'm gonna put it i'm gonna put it with the group or after the group let's put it after the group for now for now okay so now when i have all this right i have i need to um create a c uh, i need to create like um a time frame right a like because if i leave it like that then it's gonna be messy it's not gonna do what i want for example if i leave it like that without no delay or no duration like this is the duration right the time or the acceleration if i don't change anything then it's gonna be crazy i'm gonna show you right now you see so it, it didn't do nothing let me let me show you like a pretty good example of it if i leave it like that then it's not gonna do anything right i'm gonna save it in the desktop and i'm gonna put number three right okay and now I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to show you really quick um, how it's going to be. Let me show you one more time. You see, so it didn't have enough time to play the whole entire video, the whole, the whole entire clip. It's just only, it only, um, let me move it back for you to see, okay? So, it didn't, okay, it popped out, it moved, but it didn't let the subscribe to change uh, in white and to hit the bell, right? So that, I don't want it, right? And so, definitely, um, I'm going to delete this because I don't want it move to trash <laughs> I don't get confused okay so now I need to play it with the delay with the time frame and also I need to add a duration and direction right okay so that is another tricky part that I need to show you okay so now I'm going to add a delay on move out right and I'm gonna put three I'm gonna put three and on diffuse, I'm gonna de I'm gonna add a 3.25, right? There you go. And now it's going to do what I want, right? And it's gonna give me time for the video to play, right? And now you see, how, you you notice how it went separately, right? So now that's when we need to play out the move out on the duration and duration and direction so once we do that right we're gonna go here right and i'm gonna move it to like 500 for example 500 uh 500 or something let's see and diffuse i might leave it like that but give me one second let me see if, if it works <laughs> okay that will give time for that to leave for, for the video to play so that didn't go together right so that's because we need to go here to direction and direction and change it also okay so now okay let's let's um preview it a little bit just to see if everything is going well right okay so that's the effect that i wanted to have on my of my on my 
little announcement, right? So, okay, so what I did was, okay, I selected the group, right? And I added a whoosh, right? That's the, the first initial effect that I want to create in that, right? And so on the whoosh, it doesn't have no delay and it has a click and it has a one direction, right? That's all it has. On the start movie, it's also after building one, built one, right? And it doesn't have no delay and doesn't have no action. Well, it has a built-in, right? And so in the flip, the flip is after the start movie, right? And it is after build two and it has no delay and it has a one direction. And so the group, I'm gonna select the group again, right? Everything is in order, right? And and then it's gonna, uh, and then in my move out, right? That's the last build out. It, I added a three, right? A three second, um, a three second delay, right? And in the direction, I added a 5.75 second um, direction also, right? This is this is how long it's gonna take to complete the build, right? The build, and then on those on number five, the screen recording, right? Um, I also put a delay of three three point twenty five second, right? So that's gonna start. This is how it takes before an animation to build and start, right? So. Yeah, so that's the start, right? And I put it with building four, right? With this one, with the group. And so in the direction, I put zero, right? And so now I'm gonna play it, right? It doesn't play there because you have to save it as a movie and like that you will show. It will show like a, uh, like a complete, um, I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, so once you finish your project in in Keynote, right? You're gonna save it. If you wanna save it as a movie, you're gonna go to File and then you're going to Export to and then you're gonna create a movie, correct? And then, I never touch anything in here, but if you wanna play it around, you could do so. Um, you see, go to the next slide, but I don't have a slide, right? I didn't create any slides in here. So I'm just gonna leave it the way it is, right? And then I'm gonna hit next. And then I'm gonna put number four, since I've been working with different ones, and then I'm gonna export it, see? So my movie is correct, it's complete. Now I'm gonna transfer it over to let me see, okay, let me cancel it. And here it is, it's number four. And now you will see what I'm talking about. You see, that's the sequence that I want to add in my, in my videos, correct? And now I'm gonna transfer over to iMovie. Okay, so I already transferred over, right? Okay, so it's already here, and this is an old video that I have, right? I already explained in the beginning. And so I already added here, okay? And for me to add it here, you remember that you have to go to um, the, you have to select the video first, and then you gotta go to cutaway, and then you're going to, this is like a video overlay style, Right, and then you are going to uh, select green and blue screen. Okay, so that's the that's the overlay that we're going to use. Right, okay, and so now, if you notice, this is what it's going to do. You see, so the diffuse didn't didn't show, right? It didn't show at all like that. I was expecting for this to happen. So 
I like it the way it is. If you have another idea, you could do so, you could implement it, but this is how I want it. And maybe later on, I will show you a different one. But I just wanted to show you the what it, what keynotes can do with your videos and fun videos. You could also move your letters. You could do so many things, you know, um, and it's super fun, you know, so. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you love this video. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification button. Also, you can follow me on all my social media and now you can get access to my blog page called holabanaturaliunica.com. If you see this video on my right hand side, click it and you can see the next following video. And here is to subscribe to my channel. Thank you and I hope to see you on my next video.